Hey folks, Bob Reese here with the Guides Forecast, giving you a fishing report for Thursday, August 8th. It is foggy out here now, um, but for the most part we had wind all day long, and we were pretty protected where we spent most of our time over by Cape Disappointment, uh, Wing Jetty, well, Marker 1 over on the, um, in between Chinook and Iwako. Um, we didn't start till 10. Uh, bolted right over to that area for the last part outgoing tide and um, got lucky today I mean I, I didn't see a whole lot of fish caught I know uh, you know people certainly caught fish we saw some around us but I wouldn't call it an epic day but uh, we we got our first fish which was probably just shy of a 20 pounder um, right by marker uh, three and then slowly trolled our way as the tide gave out down to marker one, even got close to, fairly close to buoy 11. So definitely um, we, had, we had our first fish before we got that second rod all the way out. Um, and then uh, pretty consistent action um, for that last part outgoing tide and the first part of incoming, you know, all in that area between marker one and buoy 11 over there um against the washington shoreline most boats were piled more to the oregon side and uh, I, so i couldn't see how they were doing but uh, i felt we were um doing quite well for where we were at there um we chased the rip the fish up river um to the bridge hover there on the second half uh probably about two hours before high slack had two bites in the lumpy water up there um, it was blowing pretty good. We weren't as protected up there as we were down by Cape Disappointment. Uh, and I think we ended up landing one or two wild coho um, before we did uh, upstream troll close to high tide uh, above the bridge, which yielded no results, no bites on the humps. Um, that was disappointing. But... Uh, Overall, um, for six rods, I think we had, I'm guessing, 12 or 13 opportunities. Um, landed six Chinooks, harvested four of them. Three coho, harvested one of them. Um, yeah, and a good grade of fish. I mean, all the fish, uh, except one, cut really nice orange. And that one that didn't cut orange through and through just had that small white streak towards the back of the tail. So good quality fish today. Um, and uh, felt felt like we got pretty lucky compared to the reports I heard. So, first day in the river, I'm okay with it. Those that did go to the ocean, uh, <laughs> I actually, the, the headline news was that uh, um, they got their butts kicked out there by the weather. I mean, the weather buoy off the Columbia had said that we had 20 mile an hour winds from the north. So, that solidified my decision to stay in the river this morning and to do a late start so i have no regrets uh i think those that did go one guy in particular would try to go up north i people were turning around in the bar just was you know people talked about dangerous bar crossing conditions which kind of surprised me because the swell wasn't all that bad but wind waves um with a you know 0.0, .0 outgoing tide is not a good mixture either so um, we'll talk more about what tomorrow holds. Um, the forecast looks better weather-wise. Um, I'll go over a few more details about uh, what we're using in the river. The forecast for the Columbia River will be posted by 10 p.m. tonight. This is going to go out uh, also at 10 p.m., but will be posted for those that have subscribed to the YouTube channel. You'll get this uh, information quicker. So, um, good luck. Uh, we're in for a productive week here. Um, stay safe out there.